Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. It's my damn trip. And uh, t you know what? I found something funny. I was working on the computer and I was watching um, a video about uh, some rivers that are out here in the western United States. And <clears throat> they had stopped and he was talking about this one place called Snake River Plain. So it sounded kind of interesting and it, it took me away from my uh, computer work and I was like, let me go look that up real quick. So I, I looked at it and this was the, the place that I got right here. So I started looking around and I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll take, I got my Jeep, I'll, I'll take my Jeep, you know, somewhere and this is way up in Idaho. I was like, wow, that's kind of far. But I started to zoom out and kind of look around and, and just kind of see. And I was like, wow, these are really strange. Um, kind of formations here on the right in here and they're kind of uniform <clears throat> as well right right in this area here just was really strange so that that first that was the first thing that caught my eye I was like okay it's uh, it's kind of crazy so I zoomed out a little bit and I started playing around a little bit more and uh, I found another area that that looked kind of suspicious and I've already got that pulled up so I'll save us some time but I, I found this <clears throat> I have had backyard chickens at one time and uh, I have seen a lot of feathers and these are definitely definitely feathers that were embedded in the in the sediment or <clears throat> rock or, or, or whatever but you can you can clearly see that that those are definitely feathers and uh, I was just I was I was blown away and they're in a row like that just like you would expect and then even if you get closer you can see that they're here too the smaller ones so once I saw that I I said wow that is that is absolutely crazy that there are feathers because this is a, a town El Casa How. This is a house right here. That's a house. At the base of a massive feather. So, um, and, and that's, that's massive. Just the size of that. And so, <clears throat> that was the first thing that I saw, but, uh, if you go up to the next row, right up here, you see the same type of patterns. And those, I don't, I don't know if those, they kind of, I've been watching Mud Fossil University. I don't know if you've uh, watched that channel, but um, that, uh, is, that, I think that guy's got some really fascinating, fascinating stuff. Uh, as far as mud fossils are concerned, and I, I think I've got a, a what I think is a, is a mud fossil foot. So, anyhow, that's uh, for another video. Uh, so, what drew me in is because you, if you look at here, right here, this this area between here, all around here. I hope you're getting the flashing green icon, but you should be able to see my my mouse too how swirly it is it kind of comes in here and just kind of does this little swirl I was like wow that is the craziest thing it, it's just so flowy it's just so kind of natural and then when I started to zoom in I'm like wow that looks kind of like plumes like feather plumes it's kind of shooting out like a you know when you see a, somebody draw it it uh, like when I was in Thailand is what it made me think of when they draw uh, a cock or a, I'm you know like that's what it is a cock eye so um, so yeah that's that's what made me think and that's how I found those those feathers so that was the first thing and then so I started picking around a little bit more a little bit longer and I don't know if you can you might already be able to see it and I don't know if anybody else has ever pointed this out before but if you can't see it this entire thing looks to me to be the 
I don't know if you'd call it the Phoenix because Phoenix is at the base of the neck, but this is the end of the nose right here. Just, you know, passed up into Wyoming at that point. The eye here is in between where it says Colorado and Albuquerque. That's your eye. And when uh, Roger talks um, from Mud Fossil University, he talks about uh, effluent dripping or, or um, coming out of these massive creatures. And, and that's kind of what this looks like underneath the head. Um, and then past Albuquerque, Ciudad Juarez, going past that, past right through Phoenix is its neck kind of curved. And then it's uh, up by Las Vegas is what you might consider its shoulders because you can kind of see where this this inside curve would probably be its its the base of its neck um, and it's got that uh, I don't I don't know possibly but then you get down here into the into the body or what would be the spine would be all around this mountain range which would probably be uh, you know the the Rockies, right? Isn't that in there, right? Now what's it? Is it right there? Somewhere around here. Anyhow, my geography isn't the greatest, but that definitely looks like something coming around here, and then even all down here. When you see uh, pictures of the Phoenix, the Phoenix has uh, usually long, you know, fire, right? Rose from the ashes, and it's got these long, plumy feathers. So maybe that's what these are running down here um, all along the side whoop sorry I'm not the best uh, Google Earther there but that is it that is um, and then this would be the eye right right here and it kind of you know it is surrounded I mean the interior of it is all mined up obviously I wonder what or it's you know it's, they're farming in it but there's it's it's all that whole thing is fertile land so interesting that's that's what I found uh, let me know what you what you think I'm gonna tag um, that guy Roger from Mud Fossil University. I don't know if he's seen this. He's probably seen. He, that guy's seen everything. But uh, I think that's that's pretty wild. This this whole landscape could possibly be one of those gigantic uh, creatures, like he talks about over in over in Morocco, over here. And just real quick, I'll show you. I'm gonna check this out. This over here too. This looks really interesting. Um, but he shows, this is Africa here. He shows this giant fish right here. And then another dragon right here. And it runs all the, all the way. And that's, he's totally right. That's, that's, I mean, that's the fish right here. The, this is the back fin dorsal fin eye um, this is the dragon's head and his back and his legs and his tail and the tail goes all the way out here so uh, yeah you can watch his stuff but anyhow that's what I found I hope you found this interesting um, and let me know your comments below do you think I'm crazy do you think that's that's nuts or uh, or what Love to hear them. See ya. Oh, uh, like, subscribe, and all of that stuff.